praise Jesus Christ. A man came from Bar Shalisha, bringing the man of God 20 loaves of barley bread baked from the first ripe corn along with some ears of new corn. Give it to the people to eat. Elisha said, How can I set this before a hundred men? His servant asked. But Elisha answered, Give it to the people to eat. For this is what the Lord says. They will eat and have some left over. Then he set it before them, and they ate and had some left over according to the word of the Lord. Second Kings chapter number 4, verse 42 to verse 44. Grace for multiplication. We shall run a new program which we shall be saying activating grace of multiplication. I do not know the little that you have, how little it may be according to you. But in the Bible, there are so many diverse techniques of making that which is literal in your hands to multiply and be in surplus. And today, we are running key number one. I shall take you like through 12 keys each at a time how you may multiply the little that you have. And today, we see key one, according to the word of the Lord. This man brought some few first fruit harvest. And Elisha is saying, it is few but he set it before men that they may eat. If you look at the number of the eaters was 100 men. But if you look at the quantity is, how can I set this before 100 men? So meaning it was literal. But the man of God is saying, they shall eat and have some left of us. And this is what I want to communicate. The word of season, the word of moment, the prophetic word, which is carrying the grace of God, is we move from one level of grace to another level of grace. We enter into paradigm shifting of how we do things and we stand with the word of the Lord according to the word of the Lord. We are going to increase. We are going to multiply. We are going to expand. We are going to extend. We are going to mount on new heights. We are going to get promoted. We are going to get enlarged. But it will depend on the word of the Lord. Many people tend to use very diverse means and in diverse ways like witchcraft, like sorcery. Other go into even stealing, 
Other even use corruption, bribery. Other use deception and lies. Even other try to use grafting method. Even other try to use transferring and shifting of chances and opportunities belonging to others just for them to increase. But that is not the way to go. The way to go is according to the word of God. And we are going to invest in the other keys and we see when combined we can only grow. We can only grow out. We can only explode. That which seems literal, you can look at it tomorrow and you find yourself you can't even manage it. You can't even handle it because of how much it has become. Because of how, how wide it has become, the profit is more. You will, you will have even what to save, even what to invest. Customers are a few. You will even have more than you can handle with your stock. You have few followers. You shall have more than you can feed with the available information you have. You have small things that you are doing now. You shall have more ideas than you have the ability to, the ability to implement. <clears throat> For the Bible says, do not despise the beginning of little things. Because so prosperous shall the end be. Look at what you have. A small idea. Few friends. Small profit. Small income. That is what God is interested with. He wants to pump his grace into it and make it grow and make it be stretched out. That's all what God is interested in. He's not interested with the much. If you make 1,000 a day and you know your budget is 3,000 a day, God just needs that 1,000. You surrender your literalness to him. You surrender your fewness to him. You surrender that demeaningness to him. It is his work to lengthen it. It is work to stretch it out. It is work to expand it. It is work to broaden it. It is work, it is his work to explode it. It is work to multiply it. It is his work to make it many. It is work to make it large. It is work to make it fat. It is work to make it a bingos. It is his work to make it more than the size available. To make it more than the capacity available. To make it more than the space available. To make it more than the store available. I speak the grace of multiplication. May God multiply your ideas. May God multiply your strategies. May God multiply opportunities. May God multiply your sales. May God multiply your chances. May God multiply your profit. May God multiply your allowances. May God give you multiple sources of income. And in whatever you receive in terms of income or gain or fruit, may it come in large quantities more than the available store space in Jesus' name. Amen.